the dinosaurs are dead. Everyone knows that. But unlike the mammals and the birds, there is one group of animals alive today with direct links with the likes of T. rex and Brontosaurus. They are, of course, the reptiles, and in particular, the lizards. In the UK, we have three native species. The rare sand lizard, the intriguing slow worm, and, well, the creature I'd like to show you today. It often makes me sad to think how some people seem to have lost that innate fascination with dinosaurs. I can't think of anyone who, as a child at least, was not enthralled and captivated by the very thought of them. I was certainly one of them, transported back via stage, screen and film to a land that time forgot. And that's why I think it's a shame how a lot of people seem to lose that sense of wonder and awe. Well, if that applies to anyone watching, wonder no more, for they exist today. And in fact, there's one just down here. There are, of course, other animals that share the modern day dinosaurs of today's range and habitat. And one of them is the adder. But I'm not interested in her today. I'm after my dinosaur lizards. Here we go. This is, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is what I've been talking about. <clears throat> As you can see, the weather's closed in a little bit, but actually that makes my job a little bit easier because these guys uh, tend to slow down a little bit when that happens. And here he is. Isn't that beautiful? It's the viviparous lizard. Now, viviparous by name and by nature, these guys give birth to live young. That's what viviparous means. Viv, live, paris, bearing, to pair off, to give out viviparous, live bearing. So actually they're quite advanced as lizards go. Hang on a sec. Get you a bit closer over here. Look at that. What a super animal. You can see, you know, how can you get any closer to the uh, velociraptors of, of old? But that head, it's, it's so similar. It's just wonderful. Those scales, real armor plating. Just a, a superb little animal. Very alert, although he's a lot slower than he would be. I think hence why he's, he's quite happy to, to sit on my hand here. Uh, because of the rain, of course, reptiles need to sit out in the sun in the UK. We don't get a lot of that, you know. Um, as you can see, it's, it's raining a little bit here, so he's able to sit under a rock and wait for the sun to come out. It, it's still a fairly warm day, so he's able to, to get a little bit of heat, but Mainly he'll just be waiting for that sun to break. Then he can go on his way and hunt his uh, prey of invertebrates, insects, spiders, little beetles and things like that. But um, what a super animal. I just love them and I think this is one of the prettiest examples, best specimens I've ever seen. Super! So you can get a bit closer up on that. Now, they are, of course, completely harmless. And you may think, well, okay, it's a lizard, of course it's harmless. Well, there are a few venomous lizards in the world. Um, the most famous two examples are the, uh, the beaded lizard. Oops, there he goes. And come back, come on. 
the beaded lizard and the uh, the Gila monster out there in the Mexican desert. But um, recently it's been discovered that uh, there is a third and that's the Komodo dragon famously thought to kill purely due to the uh, bacteria in the mouth but actually there's also been venom found in that in that bacteria so what the animals will do is chew onto a prey release the uh, venomous saliva through grooves in the teeth and that's ooh, that's how their victims die but he's just on his way now I'm just gonna recapture him and put him back to where I found him oh, and then get out of here because it's really chucking it down now not enjoying this so much he's just made up for it though let's go and put him back where he belongs under his rock There's your rock, mate. You go and sit under there until the rain stops. Go on, off you go. And there you have it. From a lovely, glorious day to a rather wet and damp, viviparous, modern day dinosaur, British lizard. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Until next time, see ya.